this is so incredibly weird. Um, but Andrew asked me to do a little video diary of our weekend adventures and to be honest about how I'm feeling about them. Uh, so my darling husband has planned a camping trip for us this weekend and uh, I'm not a big camper. I went camping as a child. We would pack up the minivan with coolers and bags of food and hot dogs and hamburgers and chips and soda and then we bring our games and our water guns and our bathing suits because we always camped near water and made s'mores at night and slept on top of our sleeping beds because it's hot in Texas and that's what I'm used to. Um, as an adult I did the same thing living in Texas except you trade the soda for beer or liquor and um, you get drunk and then you pass out in your tent um, on top of your sleeping bag because it's so hot. Um, Oregon camping is vastly different where you have to plan for four different seasons. Um, you could have snow apparently and you can also need shorts maybe. Um, so that's weird. Um, it's not my comfort area. Andrew's trying to make it comfortable for me, which I appreciate. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm nervous about not knowing what to wear or what to do. Um, we're taking the truck and apparently we're driving where there might be trees that have to be pulled back and over things and we might get stuck and he wants us to use two-way radios to talk to each other when one of us is outside of the car guiding the other who's driving. I don't want to be the one driving, but I also don't necessarily want to be the one that's guiding us. Um, Andrew and I sometimes don't talk well to each other whenever we're in that situation. Um, I think I'm a fine driver when I'm by myself, um, but when somebody's watching me I get very self-conscious and then I think I make more mistakes. Um, Whereas with when it's just me, I give myself more forgiveness of those mistakes, but when I'm being observed, I want to make less of them so that they don't think less of me as a driver. Um, so I'm nervous about that. Um, I'm also nervous about silly things like the food. Um, to me, you take hamburgers and sandwich meat and hot dogs and those are all simple easy things. Your snacks are chips and fruit and I don't even know what else but you know typical junk food I guess and Andrew thinks we can make anything on our little backpacking stove and maybe we can. I don't know. I've never done cooking on a backpacking stove before. Um, he is going to buy a real oven like thing to go that fits on the back of the truck and that's exciting but we don't have that yet and until we do even once we do I don't know if food will be any more of a comfort thing Andrew and I eat very differently um, he's a great cook and it doesn't have a problem just piecing a meal together with whatever we have I if I don't have a set meal plan I'm running to, out and picking something up at a fast food place or going to a sit down restaurant and eating. Um, I grew up with you know peanut butter jelly sandwiches and I'm fine with that but Andrew doesn't really eat sandwiches that are homemade. Maybe out we do but not simple PB&Js. Um, no chips, uh, no sodas. So I'm anxious about that. It makes me nervous. He wants me to talk you know, come up with what I want to take, bring, um, and those are the things that I'd want to take. So I'm trying to think of other things. So I know I want to take yogurt and apples and granola because that's one of my favorite snacks these days. I'm trying to eat healthier for my little girl here, um, but it's not something that's easy for me all of the time, particularly when I'm outside of my comfort zone. That's when I naturally lean towards my bad choices that are comforting and um, I know. Um, other things that I'm nervous about, and another silly one, is the clothes, but it's also very important to me. Um, 
you know, in the past when Andrew and I have gone out, he will pack some of his stuff for me to wear, and in the past that worked, um, but it, currently I'm a little bit larger um, due to being 24 weeks pregnant. Um, and not only that, even before, you know, there were some of his pants that when I sat down were greatly uncomfortable around the middle area. And knowing that you're a little bit bigger than your husband is a little off-putting. And you kind of start to obsess about that and you don't want to draw attention to it, but then that's all you're thinking about. Um, so. I'm nervous for this one, this trip, because he said we could have snow, so he wants me to wear a particular pair of his pants that, you know, is fast drying, because he doesn't want me to get soaked and then be cold and freezing, um, whereas I'd much prefer to wear my my leggings, my yoga pants, and my sweatshirts, and sweatpants, um, and my regular rain boots, but he thinks I'd be too, I'd be miserable if I got soaking wet, and he's right, I would be, uh, so I do need to take his advice on that. Um, and so what I did today was I went out to REI, um, asked a lovely sales lady for some help and told her that, you know, this isn't my comfort zone area. I am extremely uncomfortable in his clothes, but I know what he wants me to wear. So she helped me pick out some, um, not the most high-end items that they had. Um, she led me more towards the REI store brand. Uh, because they are a lower price point and she said that because right now I am a little bit larger than I will be in a couple of months, ideally, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and then once I know kind of more of what I'm looking for, then I can come back and maybe spend more money um, on the higher end items. But for now, you know, since I'm going to be buying a larger size that I won't be wearing for the rest of my life, um, we want the, the cheaper versions um, and I'm okay with that. Um, I bought a pair of base um, leggings um, of the lightweight variety. She said this time of year um, that should get me through, um, particularly if I do put on another layer on top of it, like my regular leggings. She said I could wear those. Um, and then I bought a pair of the quick dry pants that Andrew has, but the women's version, um, <clears throat> different brand, but the same type of pant, um, and they actually fit. Uh, moderately comfortably, so that's good. Um, and then I also tried out other ones, and I think I found a pair that I would like to buy in the future when I um, don't have, you know, a baby inside of me. Uh, that are, you know, they have that stylish aspect to them. They're like a little slim cut, um, so I don't have to give that up, and that is important to me. And I know it is silly, and Andrew is, would laugh at me. Um, but I, I don't enjoy looking bigger than I already am. And a lot of the outdoorsy appropriate clothes do that to you. Um, so I bought those two for my bottom half. And then I bought a um, base layer top. It, it does zip down for fairly far and it has a higher collar. Um, again, it's the lightweight. Um, and I think I might not like the, the zipper and the high collar at some point. But it had a little bit more room. Uh, for my boobs and belly than the standard crew neck one. Um, so I'm excited about that. Got some gloves um, that Andrew wanted me to get some waterproof gloves. Uh, expensive things. So a total of $155. Um, it's hard for me to spend that money when it's not items that I'm excited and uh, really want. But if they will make me happier this weekend then I think that will be good. Uh, so yeah, it should be interesting. I did go to the library to get some books, so I have those for the evening time. Um, we will have our headlamps, um, we have our sleeping bags, I'm excited about the sleeping bag. I'm anxious to see how I fit in the sleeping bag and how I'll sleep. Um, being pregnant, right now I have a body pillow for the house, um, so we'll see how I sleep on a sleeping bag and air mattress. Um, but. It could be fun. I'm hoping it'll be fun. Uh, but I am also very anxious about it. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes.